Hey everyone, Trey Amick from Magnet Forensics here, and today I'm excited to walk through Axiom's new Find Similar Pictures feature. The Find Similar Pictures feature adds on to Magnet AI's capabilities where we could already categorize chats, helping identify sexual-based or luring messages, as well as help identify images of things like money, building exteriors, bedrooms, vehicles, money, weapons, as well as many other categories. As you can see here from the case dashboard, I've already run Magnet AI and have a breakdown of the hits over here to the right. So we can see here we have possible screen captures, we have possible money, paper documents, buildings, uh, possible drones, uh, drugs, militants, weapons, and bedrooms as well. To use the Find Similar Pictures feature, we're going to go ahead and go up to the Tools menu, and then we're going to hit the Build Pictures Comparison, which I've already run for this case. However, if you want to go ahead and have this automatically run when Axiom Examine is open after your processing is done, let's go ahead and go into Settings. And here under the post processing options, you can say automatically build connections when the case opens, the timeline, as well as the build picture comparisons as well. So you can have that selected so Axiom will automatically process that for you and you'll be ready to go once everything's done. During the picture comparison stage of when we're processing all the images and reviewing the images, Magnet AI is looking at each individual image and through deep learning models that we've built in, we're able to extract non-readable characteristics from each piece of media. We then score that media based on the characteristics found during the Magnet AI processing, which helps us identify those similar images. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at this uh, USB that we have loaded in. I'm going to hit view evidence for this source only. And as you can see on the artifacts view here, it looks like we have a good bit of media. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And we can always stick with column view if we wanted to, but I'm going to switch from column view on over to thumbnail view. Now with thumbnail view, let's say we identify this picture that that's you know, our key interest for this investigation and maybe we need to identify similar pictures to this. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this picture of interest and since we've already run the find similar pictures feature and processed out all the images, all I'm going to have to do is go down to find similar pictures and hit select picture. Now Axiom is going to go ahead and look at all the images for this piece of evidence and go ahead and identify these similar pictures for us to review. Now that Axiom's identified the similar pictures, as you can see here, we do have several that have owls in them as well, as well as looks like some uh, memes and of course some other pictures. However, I wanna go ahead and look at similar pictures now from both the USB that we have identified in this case, as well as the Mac computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the Mac and hit okay. And now we're going to be looking at all the similar pictures from both pieces of evidence. And as you can see, there's a lot of owl pictures here that we have identified correctly as potential uh, similar images to the one that we originally selected. So very, very good job with Magnet AI identifying those similar pictures, really helping us consolidate what we're looking for for this particular uh, data set. Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of pictures here, but let's say you're working in an investigation where maybe you have a picture that was given to you either by the case agent or the family, and you want to identify if maybe that uh, picture, that person, or that place that's identified in that picture has also been found on your case evidence. So we can bring in external pieces of media for review with the Find Similar uh, Pictures artifact. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and clear my filters here. I'm going to go right back over to my case dashboard. And from the dashboard view or from any view, you can go up to tools and we can go right down into import picture to find similar pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and select this picture of the owl that I was given that's not inside this case file. And I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And what's important to note about this is because this is a reference picture that we are using, this picture isn't going to be added into your case as evidence. We're just using this picture to help uh, identify other similar pictures for this case. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It's important to note when you bring in an external image that we're going to have to process it just like we did with the rest of the media when you initially process that with the find similar images feature. So that being said, it will take just a second. And as you can see here, we have identified several similar pictures that matches that original reference shot that we loaded in from that external source. So I really did a great job identifying other pictures that were very similar to the one that we loaded in. Let us know what you think about the Find Similar Pictures feature. Hope you have a good day. We'll see you soon. Thanks.